Wait, 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 wait. Hiya, darlings. This is Hollow Live English Advent's Devilish Diva, the one and only Narissa Ravencroft. <gasps> ah! Sorry, I became a pinch for a minute, so I wanted to I wanted to not I wanted it to redo it so it wasn't scuffed. <laughs> uh, not me being a pinch. How are we doing today, darlings? Jailbirds, how are we? Pinge, you know what a pinge is, right? A pingy wingy, a PNG file. <laughs> uh, I'm doing quite well. I had a nice day off yesterday. Let me. Let me just. Uh... Hi. <laughs> How are you all? You're sick. That's no good. Asa uh, Alva, thank you very much for the Aka Supa. Risa, are you today's date? Because you're an 11 out of 10, respectfully. I missed you quite a lot, and I'm glad that you're back with us and safe and sound. Let's have a lovely stay. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Lonely Garuga, thank you very much for the Supa. Good evening, Raven Chan. Genki desu ka? Hi, Genki. Genki, Genki. Let's all have a lovely time chatting. Well, hello. Um, also, thank you everyone for the, the give memberships. Um, I'm going to turn on some music for me to listen to. And then I'll get to talking. Because um, that's what I do best. <laughs> so, yesterday, I had quite quite the day. You might not believe it. You might not believe that I had a day yesterday, but I did. <laughs> I didn't tweet too much. No, not the yawns. Come on. <sighs> Why am I so sleepy? Flora Jan, thank you very much for the soup. <gasps> Glad you can be here today too. Hello also VOD watchers who will watch this after. Happy to have you here. Thanks for coming back and watching the VOD. <laughs> Masha, thank you for the soup. Crims, thank you for the soup. Okay. My day. My day yesterday. I'm sure you guys missed me. You got a little a little peek at me if you guys watched Fuamoko. If you watched Fuamoko last night, all of Advent made an impromptu appearance on the the stream that they were doing. So <laughs> we helped Fuamoko solve a puzzle in Cookie The Adventures of Cookie and Cream? Is that is that the the game's name, I think. Yeah, say hi to the VOD watchers, everyone. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we came in. We helped them solve a puzzle. I'm not... Uh, I'll admit. I'm not great at puzzles. But I try. My Izumi, thank you very much for the soup. Uh. <gasps> kira Kira-chan! Happy birthday to you, Kira Kira-chan! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um... <laughs> But anyway, sorry. I need to get on topic. I'm having a hard time. Now, Rashi, it's your birthday too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay. My day started out yesterday quite, quite interestingly. I basically, I woke up as most days happen. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. That's so confusing, I guess. You know, I, I, I imagine me waking up in the morning with how sleepy I always am. You'd think that I just don't sleep at all. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of sleepy, Risa. Thank you. You woke up. I know, crazy Zerings. Thank you for the soup. But yes, I woke up. I woke up. And then I actually had to prepare. I think I've told you guys this, but if not, I'll talk about it now. Uh, 
one thing that I really wanted to splurge on when I got my first paycheck is uh, because my horn is broken, I am not as skilled a singer as I'd like to be. So <laughs> not only did I, I upgrade my mic, as you guys know, but I also decided to invest in uh, some voice lessons. So I've, I've been seeing a voice teacher. It's only our second meeting uh, yesterday. So I got to see her again. I didn't just practice yesterday. I had an actual like lesson. I practice, I try to practice at least five days, five days a week. Um, since I got our, since our first lesson, <sighs> I, I practiced, I went through five times. Oh, we have another birthday. Let me take a quick, uh, Baga, Baga Nono. Am I reading that right? Baga Nono. Uh, I can't read the rest. Hi, nurse. That's my birthday. Just want to say thank you. Your streams make me feel happy enough times. Also, may I request for an emotional damage sound pack sample, please? There you go. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you and many more. Uh, <laughs> but, um, Basically, it's so interesting. So my my training is musical theater, okay? I I've as you already know, I have a lot of training when it comes to classical style singing, which is great, but I found out that from my lessons I basically have a lot of really bad habits that are great for when I'm a soprano in choir. But when I'm actually trying to sing something, it doesn't lend itself well. Um, basically, I have a very overdeveloped, not even overdeveloped, but over um, obsession with my vibrato. What's a song? What's a song that's uh, in the... What's a song I know that's in the public domain? Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, any improvement on lower register? Yes, actually. Yes, she's uh, teaching me how to actually... I don't think that was a pop. I moved my mic. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, she's been teaching me how to um, actually use my low range. So, <clears throat> yeah, my vibrato. I overly rely on it. And it sounds great. But it causes problems for me. Because my... High register is actually weak. <laughs> it's weak in the sense of where it's coming from. It's not supported by my diaphragm. Unless I'm singing like this. But even then when I use my vibrato, suddenly I get light and fluffy. And it sounds pretty, but only in some context. And it doesn't suit itself well when I'm trying to sing strong. You know? Um, wait. I think my cat wants back in one sec. So, <laughs> we've been working on making it so I can actually sing. First off, with my low range. So, I'm doing a lot of, like, workouts that are, like... And that sounds really bad. But basically, what I need to do is uh, when I do my low voice, usually I do this thing where I'm, like... Do, do, you know, I have like this very low, ooh, ooh, and then it's got like this nice vibrato on it, which sounds pretty, but is actually apparently holding me back. <laughs> do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, you know, <laughs> but apparently that's wrong and i i agree because the issue is i can't sing low so i'm like do like even that's straining do re uh uh so la ti do ti do ti la i can't i can't hit yeah not enough air support too um so what we're practicing now is several things but one of them is that um I need to sing from a more spoken place. And it's really hard because I've never done it before. So it's really, really underdeveloped. <laughs> it's really underdeveloped. So I'm like, 
Do 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 I still have a cutoff, obviously, because I'm just not an alto. But if I'm actually doing it correctly, I can sing lower, you know what I mean? But I just need to do it correct. Um... Would it, it hurt your throat though? No, absolutely not. My my the only thing that hurts my throat is um when I try to overdo belting or when I try to whistle tone, which I can hit some, but sometimes I'm like maybe I could hit the Ariana Grande note in her song Imagine, <laughs> and that will usually throw out my voice for like a whole week. Mm. Um, will your horn grow back? I don't think my horn will grow back, but maybe. Maybe, maybe if we find it, then I'll just be able to absolutely, you know, destroy the universe. Um, Ariana Grenade, excuse me. <laughs> we made it. Thank you for the Sufa mini concert enclosed within the Sufa. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so we were doing that. And um, then the other thing I have to do is when I go like, do, 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 do. You probably hear the difference on that. Do, 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 do. Well, you can probably hear my face suddenly get a smile. Because in choir and in my private lessons that I took for mm, choir, <laughs> for classical singing, uh, every time they wanted me to go high, they wanted me to have a very structured eyebrows up, smile on your face, open your mouth very wide. You know it gives you this great sound. <laughs> Um, you're not supposed to do that because it changes the vowel and it makes it very inconsistent. It makes it very inconsistent between where you're trying to go. So if I'm doing a, it's like, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. I've been practicing, so it's a little better, but, um, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, and maybe I'm fine right now, actually, but, um, I, I'm trying to break the habit of basically doing it where it's like do re mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa mi re do like you can hear me smile all throughout it so it, you know do re mi fa I need to basically say it more spoken I need to and also apparently I use my jaw too much <laughs> so she's like look your, your jaw is like let me help you man <laughs> you gotta you gotta get it out of there uh, yeah, you can see me. That's that's what they taught me to do in the choir. <laughs> and in my private choral lessons, but... Jared the Turtle, thank you for this soup bug. We're required to other vocal training is hard, but you can do it. Thank you. Yeah, it's really difficult because I, I'm definitely... It's easier. Like, it's crazy because it's easier to sing. I can't remember now off the top of my head what the scale that she taught me was because I'm in front of all of you um I I'm I'm scared <laughs> you know suddenly it's like I'm a little embarrassed typical dragon thank you very much for the super if you get back your horn do we jailbirds also get powers too it's an interesting question I don't know if you do <gasps> Bagel, Riggle Mortis, thank you very much for becoming a Jill, Jillbirds Ultra. Thank you. You can sing all the songs from Sound of Music perfectly. Not even so, because I still, I still need to correct. I would sing one now, but obviously that's not possible because this isn't a karaoke stream. <laughs> um, I do know some choral songs that I know are definitely. Do you guys know Wassail? That one's got to be. Wait, let me check. Wassail public domain question mark wa 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 sale sale song um i need to make sure that it's the correct one give me one sec i can't read chat for a moment christmas songs in the public domain the wa sale song status public domain it's cuz it's from the 1600s okay Perfect. Um, just let me check the lyrics now, and I will sing a Christmas song for you when it's almost Halloween. <laughs> um, no, I'm pretty sure Wassail. But I just need to make sure I'm singing the right one. 
Wassail song. Let me just check the lyrics real quick. Not here we come a was sailing. Wassail was sail all over the town. Are you public domain? It's a glochish glochish shire. <laughs> Uh, is in English dating back to the 18th century, but may be older. Is it public domain? Uh, pub, pub, public domain question mark. It's not giving me an answer. I'm going to presume that it is. Does anyone have an answer for me? <laughs> yeah, the nightmare before Christmas. Uh, can we please not summon Mariah Carey too early this year? Gloucestershire? Is that really it? I don't want a lot for Christmas. <laughs> Halloween? Why won't it tell me if this song is public domain? I'm pretty positive it is. Some Gregorian chants. I don't know if I know any Gregorian chants. I wish I did. Maybe it's English, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anything made in England is public domain. <laughs> yeah, that was 16,000. <laughs> well, I don't know when this one's from. The one that I know. Because um, it's just not listed. It's not listed on there. There's a different one. I'm pretty positive this one is, though. Um, PK Scratch, thank you for the soup. Uh, time for some Beatles, if, if only. Um, publication in 1868. I'm pretty positive this is public domain. The earliest, the earliest, <laughs> or the latest thing is like from like the late 1800s, but basically it goes like, Wassail, wassail all over the town. Our ale, it is iron, our ale, it is brown. Our bowl, it is made from the white maple tree. With a wassail boy, we drink unto thee. I don't remember it perfectly. Um, but, like, uh, that one's fun. But the point is, when, when you sing a choral song, you know, like, you're not trying to sound, like, necessarily full and bodied. So it's like you can sing it however. Except also in a choir, you need to sing it flat. Unless you're doing a solo. Hee <laughs> hee. Are we singing sea shanties? I wish. <laughs> Are we at heaven? No. I'm sorry. I wonder, is Night Divine? Is Night Divine public domain? I don't have to private the VOD if it's public domain. Pirates of Penzance? Isn't that the I am the very model of a modern major general? Is that is that, that one? Sea shanty. Big iron with a big iron on his hip. You know, I always misheard that lyric and thought they were saying with a pick iron, which I don't know why I heard that, but I thought it was a pickaxe and they were just calling it something weird and then I felt so stupid. <laughs> have you ever just, have you ever just, you ever just mishear lyrics and then you just justify it in your mind to like be incorrect? Where was I going with this? What was the whole purpose? I got so confused with what I was looking for that I forgot why I was looking for it. But the whole point is choir songs are very, very different. Voitan, thank you very much for the soup. Uh, uh, there's there's lots of like... We're, no, not copyrights. I was looking to check if it was copyrighted, but I was I was I wanted to sing it for a reason. But I don't remember what it was now. I got distracted. <laughs> I got distracted. Smi yeah, smile jaw stuff. So things don't really matter as much when you're in a choir. Juan C, thank you very much for the super. What's your opinion of slowed down version of songs? Uh, I don't really care to have m my stuff edited and I don't really like to listen to stuff that's slowed down or sped up too much. It's just my personal preference though. It's just all a preference thing. But So anyways, I'm trying to learn how to actually... Uh, Basically, the, the song that we're doing, we're learning one to kind of help me actually put the practices to practice. And we're doing, if you guys know, the last five years, it's a musical. There's a song called I'm Still Hurting. And I decided um, that one would be easy. Um, I, I, you know. 
<laughs> Vol volume? It? Volume? Making moves. Making moves. Uh, Brandon Burgos, thank you very much for the super. What shall we do with the time? <laughs> but uh, it wasn't easy. No, well, okay, because like, you know, the... The warm-ups are like... Like, it's it, they're really silly. They don't sound regular. Like, they're not like... Do, 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 do. You know, like, you're purposely doing kind of ridiculous things. To sound like... To, to control yourself. You know what I mean? Chicken, thank you very much for the gift of memberships to the community. Yeah, kind of like, uh, well, I was at, it's like more like no, like nook. So, no, 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 no. And the reason that one works for me is because I keep, if I do it like, no, 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 you can, you can even see the difference. No, 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 no. You, you hear it suddenly become very bright all of a sudden, suddenly. And you're like, oh, and I need to stop doing that. So, good. No, 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 no. So it's um, it's painful. I'm I'm pain and suffering. And uh, she told me for the song that we're doing that's high. Uh, I need to I need to stop. I need to stop doing my vibrato. <laughs> she said. She said, hey, cut that out because it's actually ruining your singing on your high notes. It's making you have too much of a breathy quality. So you need to stop using it. And I wanted to cry. I was like, you can't say that to me. And not too much vibrato, but it's just like using the wassail song. So if I just sing it, wassail, wassail all over the town, our bread, it is white and our ale, it is brown. I'm not singing it perfectly, but I also haven't sung it in like a billion years. So, but if I do it with um, a vibrato, people, if you're having problems, please refresh. My connection is good. It's YouTube or it's your internet. I'm sorry. Um, but if, if I sing it, um... If I sing it with vibrato, then it goes, Wassail, wassail, all over the town. Our bread, it is white, and our ale, it is brown. Our, go our bowl, it is made from the white maple tree. With the wassail bowl, we drink unto thee. You can you can hear the difference, you know, where it goes um, very, you know, suddenly... You know, very, very light and very floaty. Hello, Shionin, my darling. Welcome, welcome. Too much vibrato can make it a bit... Yeah, I mean, it's not so much about the words being intelligible or not, but it's more so about the, the quality and the tone of my voice changing too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Rana Car, thank you very much for the uh, supa. And I see it's your third supa on a live stream. Thank you very much. I'm James, and I absolutely love you. Just celebrated a B day and would love to hear a song from my favorite devilish diva. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um, but basically, what I'm trying to have to do is transition better into my chest. And my head voice to make it sound normal, <laughs> and not make it sound so start stark stark not so, not to so, have such a stark difference between both of them. It's pain. It's suffering. So chest voice is down here. Do 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 do. Head voice is up here. Do 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 do. <clears throat> do 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 do. You know. Uh, so it's basically. I have to not sing with vibrato. I have to not use my my jaw or my neck muscles. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I have to not. Um. I, I have to use. I have to just talk. I have to just talk. I can't raise my eyebrows, and I'm just supposed to not think about it while also doing all. The, it's it's very difficult, but I'm having a lot of fun. My teacher's also a freaking blast. She's like amazing. So it's a lot of stuff, but. Um, doing it every day, I can already feel differences, but it's definitely, it's still hard to implement it in, 
into music that I'm like singing because of the fact, um, because of that fact that like I have to like, we do like such silly warm ups like, you know, that it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's hard to then think of like all right now i want to sing this song how do i implement into <laughs> you know obviously <laughs> so uh, i'm having a pretty fun time wait isn't it cali uh cali does go i suppose um <laughs> I don't do too many guz though. My my thing seems to be nya is what works best for me. <gasps> Xian? Xian, ah, uh, super chatto. Arigato gozaimasu. Nerisa, I steru. It's the most sticky na koe o. Arigato. Ah, my nichi, kenki o. Morate imasu. Doi. <laughs> Damien, thank you very much for the super. I unexpectedly got a fax. Could you start over? I don't understand, but yeah. Nihongo Jozu Janai. Nihongo Wahetada. <laughs> oh, on to the rest of my day, though. So, um, that was that was uh, the start of my day yesterday, and you know that that was how I decided to start my day off was by working. <laughs> um, and then after that, I I was having a a craving, I was having a deep craving for some roasted vegetables. Well, okay, wait, this was in between actually, and I'm going to make fun of my brother because he did the most little brother thing. That, and I'm so mad. Like, I hate having a little brother. I, I'm actually going to send him to Yofi for real, for real, because I need him gone. <laughs> I never want to look at him again. <laughs> um, so basically, I, I had my lesson, okay? But I had started roasting vegetables, and this is completely my fault. I overcrowded the pan, but it's only because we didn't have a cookie sheet, Okay. We didn't have a cookie sheet, so I had to put it in, like, a really, really big cake pan. So some of the vegetables were stacked on top of each other, and I was like, you know, this is fine. I just need to turn it over a few times and keep roasting it, and eventually it'll get roasted, you know? Um, and basically, so then I, I go, and my sister's going to work. My parents are both busy, you know, so I'm like, okay, little bro, I need you to do me a favor. I'm going to set a timer here. When, when you are before you leave for work i just need you to take this out when you hear this timer go off right simple because i was like i have a voice lesson it's gonna last an hour and it's going to be done 15 minutes 15 minutes into my lesson so i just need you to take them out of the 400 degree oven can you do that little brother and he said, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, in the most little brother way. Also, Von Cobra, thank you very much for the super. And, uh, Michi, thank you very much for the five gift memberships of the community. So, continuing, uh, after that brief commercial. So, I told him, I was like, so I realized I could be in there a little longer. So, so you have more time in the shower of, and they can potentially not burn. I made it slightly longer. I gave them slightly more time in the oven because they'll be fine. Um... Because I know you like to shower for, like, a freaking hour, you know, to, like, drag him. Little bro. Bro Risa was not listening to what the fuck I said. So, he gets out of the shower and just goes right upstairs. To play video games. <laughs> so, I get out of my lesson. And here's the thing. The oven had the light on. The oven had the light on. And you could see that the oven was on. Someone came in. And was like, that alarm is really annoying. And turned it off. And left the stuff that you could smell. It was fragrant. There were herbs on these. You could smell the roasting vegetables. <laughs> and everyone just ignored it. And just left it in the oven to burn. 
So these vegetables that I had been roasting already for a long time were now super burnt on the top to the point where like the bottom wasn't cooked because they needed to be moved around. But now the tops were overly roasted. So my only option was to now eat these horribly overcooked but also not crispy vegetables. And I was really pissed about it. I went and I actually, I, I, we had a sibling spat and I was like, are you stupid? And he's like, oh, I thought when you said that I take hour long showers that you just decided that you were going to do it. And I was like, you didn't listen to anything that I said. <laughs> so that was um, immediately before and then after my lesson. Well, look, the vegetables, I want to be clear, were still eaten. They were just shit, okay? They were still eaten. They just did not come out well because they were burnt on the top and under, or rather, overcooked inside. Domo, thank you very much for the soup. Uh, so many people have birthdays today. My birthday is tomorrow. <gasps> Well, you're going to have to ask for a happy birthday tomorrow then, Domo. Arigato gozaimasu. Chicken, thank you very much for the soup. I can confirm it's never good. Yeah, exactly. I've noticed that. I don't know what it is about little brothers. I feel like men, men, if you are a man here, I need you to listen up. I need you to just, when someone asks you to do something, whether it be your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, I don't care. Me, especially if it's me, I just need you to do it. <laughs> Sometimes it would even be great if you did things without being asked. I'm begging you. I'm begging you for me. If not for anyone else, do it for me. <laughs> Ark the Jailbird, thank you very much for the super as a little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, I already read it. Okay, okay. Kyodai, thank you very much for the super. Biorisa pulled an oh, but he really did. Well, Bro Risa, his issue is, you know, he's a guy. And that's not an excuse, by the way. But so he always does that. And he uses the excuse of, oh, I forgot for everything, you know. But so I was actually quite annoyed. And I decided, since my vegetables were ruined, I wanted to cook something else. Um, I wanted to cook something else. So I decided I would make a chicken soup. Chicken soup. Morally immoral, thank you for the soup. Are you sure you want Yofi to have him? Don't think she can fix that. And don't worry. <laughs> And don't worry, we know happy wife, happy life, good, good. Yeah, I actually, I, I think Eofi is probably too good for Rorisa. So maybe I'll continue to... I, I Maybe he deserves, like, maybe he doesn't deserve a girlfriend. <laughs> maybe I should tell my parents to kick him out. <laughs> and he'll develop some sense of responsibility. <laughs> Uh, wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, Despair, thank you very much for the super. Can I be your little brother, Risa? I'll do anything. I don't need another little brother. Thank you, though. Daku, thank you very much for the super. As a little brother, I have done this before. He did nothing wrong. Daku, level with me. Level with me. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. You're great. You're great. But y y that's that's unacceptable. <laughs> Look, you guys gotta understand, this this kid will come into my room and start talking about Rome and stuff, and then he'll just leave. And then and then he'll just like make a mess, you know? What is it what is it with brothers and just making messes everywhere they go? What is with that? I don't understand. Where do you where do you all collectively come together and agree to be like that? I just want I just want answers. I'm just asking very nicely. That's what little brothers do. I don't agree. How about little sister? I will take a little sister. Hey, girls. Are you there in the chat? Are you are you there? Can you see me, ladies? Please leave a comment down below on the video. I am taking little sister applications. If you would like to replace Bro Risa and become my official little sister, please apply down below and tell me why I should pick you. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to reading your submissions. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Mashba, thank you for the soup. Uh, you still eat, ate it when it was burnt. Yeah, I mean, I just I just mixed it up because the insides were mushy because they cooked for so long. And, like, the bottom stuff wasn't burnt. So, it's whatever. Uh, Momo Berry, thank you for the soup. Uh, I'm one of Yofi's regulars. Just want to say making her angry is the last thing he would want to do. ID girls are scary. Yeah, I know, exactly. Like, I, I would only send her send him excuse me to eofi so she could kill him for me <laughs> eofi please destroy my brother 
please whip him into shape so he will actually clean up after himself and do the things I ask him to do. <gasps> Jailbird Roadstar, thank you for the super. Roma, Roma indeed. I see Evie volunteering to be my little sister. I will look forward to reading your submission in the comments below. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hacker man, thank you for the super. As an older brother, I am here to state that I do not agree with Daku. <laughs> I will su submit my resume for younger sister. I'm looking forward to it. Lwin? Lwin? <gasps> Neo Matrix, thank you for the super. As a little brother, I can confirm we have a high fan that <laughs> commands us to be annoying to older siblings. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'd believe it. I really would believe it. Lonely God of God, thank you very much for the super. Uh, how about a responsible elder brother that would actually do what they were entrusted with? I would take that. Um... I don't know. I don't need any more brothers. I feel like I've had one and now I don't want I and now I'm glad I don't have any older brothers. Cuz like are they kind of cursed? I don't know. I I've never had an older brother. What do older brothers even do? I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> As an eldest bro, yeah. <laughs> uh... Luis Miguel, thank you very much for the super. Wait, there are girls here? There better be. Girls, come out. Where are you? I love you. Please. Please, ladies. Maps Ams, thank you very much for the super. I don't know if we'll, we'll ever be able to play Haunting Ground, mostly because I don't have the PS system it goes on. TK Purple Wolf, thank you for the super. I'll be your little sis. <gasps> You're a girl too? <sighs> I'll never cause you problems. Where do I sign up? In in the comments below, please. 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 Girls, ladies. <laughs> Rhonda, thank you very much for the super. Guys, stop spamming supas just because I'm reading them. Stop it. <laughs> Zero coffee, thank you for the super. I would pay big money to have you as an older sister, right? I bet I bet there's people who'd be so happy to have me as their older sister. And meanwhile, my brother is over here not even taking my vegetables out of the oven. This is why he'll never get married. <laughs> my Izumi, thank you for the super. As another little brother, we should let Daku cook because this is correct. <laughs> I don't agree. I don't agree. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to start skipping some. I will teach Bro Risa to cook, but I can't stop him from going into your room. That's normal younger brother behavior, and I stand with him. <laughs> Risa's pineapple. <laughs> thank you very much for the uh, for the pinky. No, the, see, here's the thing. I don't have an issue with my brother coming in and having conversations with me because. As you guys can imagine, I like to chat. I really like to chat and I really don't care with who. I just like to have a conversation sometimes. And uh, I'll admit, I don't, because I, I live at home and I don't go downstairs often. I just kind of am pent up in my room all the time. I don't really, I don't really have the opportunity, I suppose. Um... <laughs> to like talk to a lot of people because I don't leave so I I run into this issue of oh, I'm I'm under socialized <gasps> Nagi please apply to be my little sister the requirement is that you're a girl and that you're younger than me and I think that's pretty easy to do for humans because I am uh, like 10,000 something years old so <laughs> Gamba I look forward to reading it please 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 I need a little sister. I need a little sister to love and dote on. Please. <laughs> What's a human, you guys? <laughs> oh, what was I talking about? Anyway, moving on. Let's stop talking about my brother. I I just can't. I can't stand it. I can't stand having a little brother. I can't stand it. So, um... I've decided to make chicken soup. Back on black. Let's get back on topic and talk about the soup I made. I was so excited for this soup. Okay, so I came into the kitchen and I said, "What do we have?" I pulled out some celery. I pulled out some carrots. I pulled out two chicken breasts. I pulled out um. I actually had to run to the store to get green onion and then obviously chicken broth. There was a, and then a two, two like small, small ish sized onions. Okay. I dice up the onions really, really fine. I, I cut up the carrots. They were just like the, the dippable kinds, you know, the ones that are like pre-cut. So it wasn't like full, full carrots. So I just cut them into threes. So they were like smaller. Um, 
ideally I would have liked them smaller than they were, but you know, some things. <laughs> and you missing one thing? I was missing green onion and um I'll, I'll get into it. I'll get into it. So I cut up those things uh, and then I, I went ahead. I cooked the chicken. Uh, I seasoned it, of course, Italian seasoning, um, salt and pepper, but just basics with olive oil. Cooked it up. Uh, didn't cook it all, all the way, but enough that I would not feel bad cutting it. Oh, uh, my parents are keto, so they can't have potatoes. So I would usually put potato in it, but because I was trying to be considerate, there were no carbs. So, sorry, if you're like, where's, where's the carbohydrates? <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't put any carb, carbs in them or else, um, m my mom wouldn't have been able to eat it or my dad and then they would have been very, very sad. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, um, I cooked the chicken and then in the same pan that the chicken was, uh, cooked on, I then put in, um, all of the vegetables, all of them. And then I I just cooked that up and let them kind of let the onions become translucent, let the other ones kind of soften up a little. Then I put them all in the pot, uh, not the chicken. I was like, that can wait. That doesn't need to go in right now. <laughs> and then uh, put in, I had like two things of like organic chicken stock. Um, so I, I let them all start boiling in a pot. And then in the pot... I uh, later added the chicken, which I cut up really small. I basically finally, finally cubed two chicken breasts, which was not hard, but was time consuming. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, this is still not done. I added some more like seasonings. I didn't have any ginger in the house. And I, you know, using a pre-made stock, it's not going to add that much. I'm sorry. Like, um, but I did actually end up buying some, uh, like cut up cut up not cut up some uh, grated ginger at the storm can i get on, on that little sister application yes you can vice cream <laughs> so i i went ahead and i put everything together and then my secret to making things nice is uh i made two different roux actually because i decided the first one wasn't enough but i didn't want to do the same one again um so i mixed together butter and flour until I got kind of a roux thickener. I put that in. It thickened it up nicely, but not to my liking. And then I got the heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream is my favorite thing to add because it makes whatever healthy thing you're making immediately unhealthy. <laughs> and I love, I love making shit not good for you. You know, it's my favorite thing to do. Um, my most favorite thing to do actually so i went ahead and i mixed since it was cold i mixed that with some cornstarch to make another thickener uh and then i added that <laughs> and then i i mixed it all together i know it sounds really basic it was a basic soup but that's what i wanted you know i wanted a basic soup that's all i wanted that's all um that's all i wanted <laughs> So I made it. Um, and here's the thing. So I I like to make sure that everyone else in the house has eaten before I eat. So my sister came down and she's like, mm, you're making soup because she was sick yesterday. And I was like, yeah, I'm making soup. And you're allowed to have some. And I was like, do you actually want to test it? And let me know if the vegetables are cooked. OK, I had already checked them, but I just wanted to see if it was also to my family's preference. Um, <laughs> thank you, sake. <laughs> Thank you for your first ever Zupa on a live stream too. Um, so I called her down, okay? I give her a bowl. And this is a full-size bowl, by the way. A full-size bowl. A little bit of flour and it's not going to kill them. They don't need to know about it. But it wasn't a, it wasn't enough to cause them problems. Shh, they don't need to know. But as long as there wasn't anything that they could see, they don't know about it. <laughs> not enough to break them out of ketosis. So I gave her a full-size bowl. And this, this bitch. So we have these like really cute like little mugs, but they're not actually mugs, okay? They're like soup bowls. So they're really, really big and actually hold like a scary amount of liquid, but they look like cute little mugs. He can be like, mm, oh my God, this is for my pumpkin spice latte. But like really it's way too big for that, okay? So I grabbed one of those for my grandmother um, because you know, she's in the basement and i'm like i need to i need to give grandma some soup some soup that i made and my sister who already has a bowl sees that 
so there's only two of them and I was planning to use the other one after I served everyone in the house, okay? So she put the literal bowl that she already had in the sink and grabbed one of the soup mugs and decided that she was going to use that to pour her soup into. To which I looked over after and I was like, On Arissa, you already had a bowl. Where'd it go? And she's like, oh, well, I wanted, I th that one wasn't big enough for me, is what she said. It wasn't big enough for me. And I was like, you could get seconds. You could just come back and get seconds if you wanted more. <laughs> so I ended up having to use one of the quote unquote tiny bowls, as she called it, and have like, two servings of my own soup that I just spent like forever making and she's like sorry I didn't know and I was like bro you were freaking kidding me so anyway when and I gave my grandma some she was like she's like oh my gosh that was so delicious oh my god that was so good thank you so much Nerissa for making that soup it was so tasty I was like grandma you got crackers and she's like oh yeah I do right over there oh yeah I can get on myself don't worry about it you know in her cute little grandma voice I gave my mom some of course because um I was cooking for everybody and then uh, I ate some and then I, I there was still a lot left there was a lot I made a lot of soup I don't I don't think you guys can understand based on just what I'm talking about how much soup exactly that I put together it was a lot of soup <laughs> somehow I came down later that night and the 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 big pot that I cooked it in was not only completely empty but somehow looked as though it was licked clean and I want to remind you guys that this broth was white because of the fact that it had heavy whipping cream in it so that was impressive and i was sitting there after having been in the kitchen cooking for like three hours uh in total making soup running to the store to go get some ingredients that i was missing and then <laughs> my dad apparently when he got home papa risa was like this soup is so delicious i must eat all of it <laughs> My dad ate all of it. My mom ate all of it. My sister ate all of it. Then I got like two bowls. And I thought I'd have leftovers for today. Because I spent so much time in the kitchen. So I, I'll admit. Yeah, my, my dad was literally like mine now. <laughs> so that's my should have made more. I, I don't think there's a possibility that I could have made much more. Soup family. Yeah, we we are the demons of soup. Well, here's the thing. I did double it. Originally, um, I only grabbed half of everything that I needed. Like, I, I was going to use one onion, four, four sticks of celery, and then, like, uh, a third of a bag of the carrots. And I was like, you know, maybe this won't be enough. <laughs> so then... I went ahead and I I doubled it and it still wasn't enough. It still wasn't enough. Then I used like I need to triple it then clearly. Well, it was so funny because I, I found I was like, how's it gone? I made so much soup. And and so Mama Risa was like, Oh, I thought you were done with it, so I told your daddy could eat it all. <laughs> so the pain but now he owes me, so I'm gonna make- I'm gonna make my dad make stuffed bell peppers. That's how I'm gonna get back at him. <laughs> uh, but I got to cook, and that was good. And- and because I had to go to the store. Remember how last time when I really wanted donuts, my sister went to the store and I begged her, literally begged her to get me donuts, and then the donut thing was down? Well, I went today, or yesterday, and thankfully it wasn't, so I actually got to get the donuts I had been dreaming about. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good. I'll cook for you, please. Uh, also, also, I will be taking uh, personal cook cook uh applications if you would like to make me healthy meals two times a day once in the morning and once in the early evening before five 
uh, please hit me up. <laughs> uh, I will happily take a personal cook uh, who will cook for just me. Because I have better things to do. Even though I like to cook, I have better things to do than be spending like three hours cooking every day. As much as I love to cook, I just don't have time. How about three times a day? <gasps> me, I'm a nutritionist. Uh, if you're a nutritionist, nu nutritionist, get in here. Make me healthy. <laughs> Make me healthy food. Where do we apply in the comments after stream? How does delicious, unhealthy meals sound? Do, don't you guys want me to stay beautiful? Do you think you get this beautiful by eating unhealthy all the time? No. You need to make sure that I'm well-fed. And not just well-fed, but healthily fed. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, you're beautiful? Obviously. Look at me. I'm top tier, bros. Don't be like that, Jailbirds. So, yeah, that's kind of how my day went yesterday, if I'm completely honest. And then I woke up this morning. And I had, like, four things of work I had to do. Oh, and I also told a cute story last night uh, on Twitter, but I'll tell it in more detail. So, once, once my... A sibling, sibling, my sister got home. She, uh, on Arisa. Dogmold, thank you for the five gift memberships to the community. She, she went straight to bed, right? Um, or she never left, but basically she went to bed and, um, she left her door open. So that means the cats, you know, she, she has two cats. She has little man and little lady. Okay. Uh, for context, little lady, uh, we actually adopted together. And by adopted, I mean, we found, um, Basically, someone was like, hey, someone drop these cats off. Please come take them. <laughs> so uh, she had gone, which is why it's her cat. She had gone and taken uh, little lady, okay, and brought it home. And we hid little lady from our parents for a long time. And because for a long time, Papa Risa was like, there's not a snowball's chance in hell we'll have a cat in this house. I'm not a cat guy and I don't want to see a cat. And then, you know, once they found out about the cat, like within like half a day, you know, he was resting on the couch and the cat was cuddled up and sleeping on him. So <laughs> typical dad stuff. I know. So, so normal. So normal. So, um, we also have a dog. So for people who are saying dogs for the dogs are good too, but we're talking about the cats. Okay. This is not about you and your dog complex. You know, this is about m my cats. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're weak to it. They're weak to it. Cats are just such cute little babies, you know, uh, basically then, um, so she, she's pretty old. She's a little lady, but she's actually like a fat cat. Okay. Like she's hefty and she's old. I think she's 12. Well, she's an old lady. Very, very old lady. Um, now, on the other hand, little man, he's actually much younger. He was a street cat. He was a little street kitty. And, um, but, but like, you know, in like a neighborhood. So like people were like feeding him, but he's like, he's like such a lovey little cat. Okay. But it took a really long time for like... For a little man to warm up to me because for a while you know he was uh living with my sister so i'd see him every now and again not really often but now that like she's living here for a bit um i see him every day <laughs> so yeah i kind of had to i i kind of had to woo him i i had to woo him a bit oh he wasn't catnapped he was a stray okay that is not being catnapped so Little man, I, I have to admit, I think at first we both misunderstood each other because I didn't really like him. I was like, oh, compared to little lady, he he's kind of eh. Because <laughs> he's a long-haired cat, so he's got this long, beautiful mane, but it gets everywhere, you know? Um, and, like, he... I just wasn't used to him. Like, a little lady is, like, a very, a very quiet kitty. She doesn't... She never meowed. She never meowed until we adopted little man. <laughs> and then she, like, has, like, the weakest, like... <laughs> like, weakest little meow you can imagine. Yeah, he's a little man with a big voice. He'll go, like... Meow! 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 
Like, he, he, he just meows. He, every time you hear a meow on stream, it is little man. It is never little lady. It is only ever little man. <laughs> Free real estate for Stray Kid. Exactly. So you've definitely heard little man. He likes to make appearances on my streams, apparently. So, anyway, me and him, we, we didn't really get along. We didn't hate each other or anything. But, like, we, we just kind of coexisted for a bit. But then, like, he, he rolled over one time. Speaking of, now little lady wants to leave the room. So basically, he he's one of those cats who he will come over by you and then lay down on his back and then stretch out completely so his tummy is completely exposed to you to pet. You know? <laughs> so... There's just something so cute about it. It's so cute. He loves belly rubs. And, like, he doesn't... Uh, as for, like, little lady will attack you. Like, she'll, like, attack play with you. So if you're, like, petting her, she'll just randomly decide she wants to scratch and, like, bite you. <laughs> little man will not do that. He he will play with you, but he doesn't like to do that. Mm. But little man loves... When you come in and, and rub his whole like uh, neck to to like his his belly, he just loves it. And that started getting me, and then I started being like, maybe he is cute. And he, unlike little lady, is very uh, agile. So <laughs> this 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 little guy can sneak into my room, and I won't notice until like he's right in my face on bed because he's just so light. As for little lady, like I can hear her coming from a mile away. <laughs> Because she's so big. <laughs> she's such a big lady. Fat cat. Um. <laughs> but little little man. Not at all. He can sneak up on me. So anyways. Last night. Um, usually the cats. Sometimes they'll decide to sleep with me. But usually they don't. Because I like to sleep with my door closed. But last night I left it open. Because I realized that a uh, little man was in my room. Okay. So I'm laying in bed trying to mind my own business and suddenly i feel i feel a little man climbing on me and i'm like oh hi little hi little guy how is it going and little lady was fine in my sister's room but little man came over and he laid his head down between between my chest and just went to sleep and i want to keep in mind some people were saying some weird things um I had blankets covering me, so it's not like he was directly on my skin. He was on top of the, like, three layers of blankets. So for those of you who are like, oh, don't you sleep nude? Yes, I do, but I was very much covered. He was not touching any part of my body except my hands when I pet him, by the way. So he just tucked his little head there and just went to sleep. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I literally, I didn't move the whole night. I stayed right there. I stayed right there. And I, I eventually fell asleep. It took me a while because like I, I could I could really feel my heart racing because, you know, when you, you when you have like a pressure on your chest and you're like paying attention to it, you become more like aware. So like I, I like thought about it and I was like, oh, my God, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't baby cats do this because it makes them think of their mom's heartbeat and it helps them calm down. It helps them calm down. And then I wanted to cry because I was like, oh my god, is he relaxing to the sound of my heartbeat, little man? <laughs> so he was getting... Is little man single? I mean, yeah, I guess. He's a cat. So I suppose. Um, luckiest cat in the world. Yeah, but so he... I actually woke up and I was expecting... Usually the cats are really, really active at night. Like they're running around everywhere okay so i was so surprised when i woke up and little man was still right there <laughs> curled up on my chest <laughs> even though even though even though my door was open and he could have left at any time he could have left at any time at all he stayed there and just slept on me the whole night <laughs> and uh, that that was that was um 
that that was one of the moments now you don't move while sleeping no not really sometimes i toss and turn like a little bit but i tend to be pretty stable once i actually like fall asleep one time i tested it i tested it i wanted to look like sleeping beauty so i laid down and i had my hands crossed uh like right under my chest and i actually got a literal like fake rose um and like held that and i woke up in the same exact position <laughs> Rose still intact and everything. So, yeah, I I I think I, I toss and turn a lot before I actually get to sleep. But once I get to sleep, usually I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, stagnant. But yeah, Shiori, you're silly. Am I? What have I done that's silly? I wanted to test how much I moved in my sleep. I wanted to see how it worked. <laughs> So silly. I am silly Narissa Ravencroft. Silly is my middle name. Or I guess we need to, if we want to be funny about it, my middle name should start with a T, huh? So my initials are... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Narissa, sleep like a vampire confirmed. Exactly. I like sleeping on my back most, but I think I mentioned this. I got a, I got a new pillow recently. And, um... With it, I can actually sleep on my side again. <laughs> oh, Yamero! No, I can't be stopped. I can't be. Yeah, I got the jokes. It's not a docky. Um, do you guys know? I think it's coop, coop pillows. Um, they're really big, and I got, I got. You guys, I, I think I've told you this before, but like I need pillows surrounding me. No, it's not the cute. It's not the cubes. It's like big ones. It coop like C O O P. So you have. It's not a pregnancy. Why are you guys so weird? Sometimes you guys just say weird shit, and I just I don't know why. What compels you to say such weird things? Can y'all be normal for like two seconds? I'm fine with you being horny, but can you just be normal? <laughs> I'm begging you. No, it is not a pregnancy pillow. It is a very nice, expensive pillow. I'm weird, but I'm not that kind of weird. Um, So it's like, it's really fancy. And, you know, for me, it's very important to be like... Sleep is really important. You know what I mean? Sleep is very important, and I have insomnia. <laughs> so I actually had this issue because of my voice lesson yesterday. We couldn't do certain things that we needed to do because of the fact that I did not sleep until 4 a.m. the day before. So I literally, I literally was not able to get any proper sleep. Um... So I was sitting there with, like, my voice super groggy. And because of that, when we tried to do some of the, like, really, um, what are they called? Like, nasally vocal, like, uh, not warm-ups. They're not technically warm-ups, but, like, exercises. It was, like, bringing up a lot of phlegm. And I kept on clearing my throat. So she was like, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll switch to something else. So I was like, no, I'm sorry. <gasps> Those cool pillows are the ones Fauna liked, too. I got one after she recommended it. See? They're good. Fauna uses them too. I'm so happy hearing that. Sorry, I closed my door. A little lady came back in. So I realized I probably don't need it open. So, um, anyways, my point is one thing that I wanted to, I wanted to invest in was good pillows. Because <laughs> I need a lot of them. So I already had like one really, really good, like, thick Tempur-Pedic pillow that I used to like support my back when I try to sleep on my side. But I was like, I would like two more pillows one for my head and one to like hold and cuddle um when i turn like on my side you know so i i looked up to it and i did some research and i decided i was like ah maybe maybe i'll try out the coop after all <laughs> i'll just see how it is i'll see how it feels i need to know so i got two of them king sized I don't even have a king sized bed but I was like well if I'm gonna be cuddling one of them then I might as well get the fucking giant fucking pillows <laughs> 
So now I have two two giant pillows, right? And uh, I, I went and I splurged in everything and I got really nice pillowcases for them, like nice quality. And um, it, it took me a little bit to get used to sleeping on them because I was used to like a very kind of thinner Tempur-Pedic type pillow, which worked and is really nice, but I can't sleep on my side at all on it, which is really annoying because like my shoulders get crushed because my head's like this, you know? Mm. So now I have these huge pillows. Huge. Let me quick read this before I lose it. CJ, thank you for the pinky. One of the fangirls here. I'm the oldest sister in my family, so I much relate on how you feel with your little bro, but I remember that I wanted to know the feeling of having a big sister. Maybe you want to consider my resume later on, Nason. CJ, I would be happy to. I look forward to reading it and potentially becoming your big sister. <laughs> yeah, pillows are so expensive, but if you think about them, a pillow is something that you will use every single day. As long as you sleep once a day, which I can guarantee you most of you probably do at some point, you will use a pillow every single day. So a pillow is not something like, I can agree with skimping on certain things. Like, I don't think you need nice everything, you know? <laughs> but... Oh, the pillow is one thing I think that you can, like any any bed stuff, honestly, I think is one thing you can afford to splurge on. Or you just fall asleep in your chair. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, I, I, I'm a side sleeper. The coop is good for side sleeping. I really like it. I was kind of nervous, like, before, because, like, ugh. You know, side sleeping isn't necessarily, I think, good for you, depending. But the pillow apparently is good for it. Apparently. <sighs> but I'm also, uh, I'm the kind of person who, when I sleep too, my face needs to be covered. So the issue is, um, I previously I was using a silk pillowcase. Um, and I really liked it. But it was just such a pain. It was such a pain in the ass to, like, clean. You know, because like you can't wash it with your regular laundry or it'll like slowly fall apart over time. Also, Zelm, thank you very much for the five gift memberships to the community. Oh, if you have a good pillow, side sleeping is much better, actually. Really good to know that I'm happy I've started sleeping on my side. Isn't silk slippery? It is slippery, but that's great for me because I have long hair, so it doesn't really get caught. But now my point is with Coop. I decided to invest in linen pillowcases, which is great um, because over time they're way easier to wash and they just get softer the more you use them. Um, yeah, of course you clean pillowcase. Yeah, but so it, it's hard then for the for a silk pillowcase because like I ended up just buying multiple and then swapping them out and then when like and, and then like trying to wash them with everything because I don't trust hand washing. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I don't trust it and I don't have enough silk things to like invest in like a full, what's it called? A full like, uh, God, what is it called? Shit. <laughs> detergent, detergent just for silk stuff. You know what I mean? Um, no, not dry cleaner. Detergent. So it's, it's kind of annoying. Um, cold water, gentle cycle, which is, yeah, and it needs, it needs its own detergent too. So it's like. It's just totally not worth it that, like, I'd just rather use, like, one of those shitty, one of those shitty, um, like, satin head caps if I'm going to. Because satin is plastic and I don't support plastic. However, at least I can just throw it and it keeps the same texture. <laughs> Do you like harder or softer pillows? I like them both at different times i think if i'm sleeping on my back i prefer more of a temp like a smaller tempur-pedic pillow that's maybe a, a little more firm but i think overall my pillow has to be probably pretty soft for me to really like it but like then if i'm laying on my back i like something that's more like gonna like keep my head up well satin is nice to just abuse yeah exactly so oh but my point was i like to sleep on with with something covering my face too <laughs> so i always have to i'm like laying there right and then i i have um 
three layers of blankets and then the lowest blanket uh which is like the the actual like sheet for the the bed that like goes with like the you know that's the set with like the bottom most one i have to have it completely over my whole entire face or else i can't breathe rather it's not that i can't breathe i'll wake up in the morning and i will be feeling like shit uh you know what i mean like i'll be like oh my god now i have a cold because it was so dry in my room you know Yeah, I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't stand it. No, not like P. Diddy. We're not singing Kesha today. When you were, had a sleepover with Biba, did you use her to cover? No, I used the blanket to cover my face. Did you say you need? Yeah, if I, I really want to invest in more silk clothes, but they're just so lush and expensive that I just can't. Do you sleep with music or some noise? No. I can't. I need to... I, I've been working on this, actually. I had an issue where, like, unless it was completely dark, I couldn't sleep. So, like, the first crack of dawn, if any light was streaming in through my windows, it would wake me up at 5 a.m. But recently, I've been training myself. Basically, uh, I have, like, my blinds open, you know? So, do you cover just your face or your whole head? Not, not like... I don't, like, tuck it under my head or anything, but, I mean, my whole head is pretty much covered. Pretty much my whole head. But yeah, no, I don't want an eye mask. I want to not be that affected by the light. I want to be able to sleep when it's bright out. <laughs> Do you wear pajamas when you sleep? No, and I don't wear regular clothes either. But yeah, I've gotten really good now. So now I can sleep. Now I can sleep without without having to close my curtains because I won't wake up from the light, which is great. It's fantastic. Bailbird, thank you very much for the give memberships to the community. No dockies. No, no dockies. I don't have any. It doesn't count as sleeping naked if you use blankets. Excuse me? Yes, it absolutely does. Sir Bills, thank you very much for your first ever super on a live stream. Are you able to take naps at all? No. No. Sadly. Yeah, I mean, if you take the blanket off, I'm naked. So, I mean, no pajamas, no regular clothes, and you don't like underwear. Look, I wear regular clothes throughout the day. Like, right now, it's cold, so I'm wearing uh, some really nice loungewear I bought that's really fluffy. As you can see, you can't tell because it's fluffy inside the clothes, you know? This is, this is basically, I have multiple different outfits that are completely different on, based on what's inside, but they all look the same. You know, it's a typical, the typical anime, the typical anime outfit, you know, where you have the same outfits over and over again. You open up the closet and it's the same thing, but uh, mine are actually all different inside. So this one's like lined with like fuzzy stuff. So I'm so comfy. I like to wear this one best when I stream so I can be comfy. <laughs> like a cartoon. Exactly. Enchanted illusion clothes. It's like, yeah, it's like the ninja uniform. Works for Western cartoons. <laughs> uh, uh, if you have an emergency. Eh? I mean, look, here's the thing. Yeah, sleeping naked, if there's an emergency, then you have a problem, but... I always have, like, a very easy to slip on pair of clothes, like, on my bedside table. So if there is an emergency, it'll take me, like, less than five seconds to quickly, like, throw a shirt over my head and throw some pants on, you know? It's not that deep. It's not that deep. No sleep naked. Try it. That's what robes... Yeah, exactly. That's what robes are for. Just keep a robe around. Keep a robe around and you'll be just fine. Five seconds. Did you time that? No, but I used to be in theater and we'd have to do really quick costume changes. Emergency clothes. What's so hard to understand? Yeah, just have emergency clothes, guys. Like if there's a fire, like what's a chance that by the time you wake up, if you're already, if the fire's already in your room, you're already dead anyway, you know? 
So instead, you know, you're probably the there's not going to be a minuscule amount of time wasted in the five seconds it's going to take you to throw on a robe to run away in. <laughs> not really, guys. It's a joke. I don't know. I've never been in a fire before. <laughs> Please. Uh, do you have an oversleep experience? I did oversleep. I don't usually oversleep. I usually only have the problem of undersleeping. I usually only have the issue of I don't get enough sleep. Is my... What if the robe is flammable? I think most clothes are flammable. Yeah, polyester will melt on you. That's true. Oh, if there's a real emergency, I promise you won't care if you do or do not have clothes on. <laughs> yeah. Sleep ASMR one day. I debated it, honestly. Like, I'm... But I, I don't think it would be good in the case that I actually ended up falling asleep. It sounds unwise. You know what I mean? <sighs> Why am I so tired? Mm. Shiorin, are you still here? Say yes, please. Shiorin. Shiori, Shiori, Shiori. Undersleeping, yeah. I have I have a problem with undersleeping. She already is here! Hi! I just wanted to say hello. I miss you. I love you. That's my queen. I think about her all the time. She's great. You guys should give Shiori lots of love. She is everything. She's perfect. <laughs> Thanks for the period! She hates me! <laughs> 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 oh no, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I got it. Thanks. <laughs> love you too. Thank you. <laughs> she's great. I love her. I'm sure you all do too. She's lurking. I don't know why she's deciding to lurk in on me today. It makes me kind of happy. Wow, she only listening to me stream. How kind of her. Oh, yeah. I also got to tell my voice teacher, going back, going back, going back. I also got to tell my voice teacher about <laughs> a traumatic experience I had one time with a performance. I'll tell you guys about it because I think it's a funny story. So back in a long, 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 long time ago, in the days of the the choir, um, you know how sometimes there will be like concerts where like you get to audition with like whatever song you want to sing as a potential like solo like this so some sometimes you know places will have that sort of concert so basically i went ahead and i prepared and this this was at the time when i had a voice teacher too um and <sighs> look just because i'm a sound demon doesn't mean that i'm the best singer in the world i had to hone my skill before so this was before i was like officially sound demon with sound magic okay still baby still baby and I decided to audition with a really taxing, difficult musical theater song. And I went over it multiple times with my teacher and it was great. It was wonderful. So they had a date set. They had a date set where you were supposed to actually do the audition like for it, you know, to see if you qualified. And the thing is, you didn't just have to do this just like with the teachers, you know, or anything like that. You had to actually do it like in front of the whole choir the whole entire choir so baby demon risa was very excited for this um and you know i again i had been practicing so the day comes i'm ready to go the other people who were supposed to audition that day were like um we're still not ready and for some reason even though i was completely ready and it was everyone else's fault in my opinion for not being ready the teacher instead was like, oh, well, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna move it to a different day. And I straight up, I could feel I was actually at this point, even that I was getting sick. Okay. <laughs> so I turned to the teacher and I was like, well, I understand they're not ready, but I can tell that I'm going to start losing my voice soon. Can I please go today? Because this was the day it was scheduled and I'm ready today. I just came out of my voice lesson with, with my teacher. I, I schooled it. I know I can do this and I'm ready to do it right now. The day that we were supposed to do it. So since I'm actually ready and follow directions, can I please go? <laughs> and she said no. My choir teacher. 
said no. And then it was moved back a week. And by that time, again, I mentioned I could feel myself getting sick and losing my voice. I was not doing well anymore, but now the other people were finally ready, so they moved it to this day. Into which then I asked, well, now I'm not ready. I was ready. You wouldn't let me go. Even though I, I was ready, I was prepared, and now I'm sick. Can I please wait, and can you delay mine? And she's like, no, there's no time. And I was so mad. But so they, she, she told me I still had to go. <laughs> and remember, I mentioned I picked... A very, a very vocally taxing song. There was no way, there was no way at all that I was going to be able to do this. I went up on stage and it was bad. It was, it was bad. It, it was so bad. Like for real, I, I couldn't, I couldn't maintain the belt. And this was at a time when I was really good at belting. Um, I kept having to switch over to my falsetto. I had no power because my breathing was a bit impeded because I wasn't feeling well. And like, I actually, I remember I took the mic and I said, that's how you fail an audition folks <laughs> to the whole choir. <laughs> Cause I was so, I was so embarrassed by how bad it went. And then I immediately left the stage. I walked off. I didn't even let the track finish. And I went and I hid in the like soundproofing rooms that they have. And I cried. I cried for the rest of the hour. <laughs> One of my friends came and found me and was like, it's okay, you did your best. And I was like, I know, but I didn't do well and I can't accept it when I don't do well. Um, and then, so to make matters even worse, okay? To make matters even worse. My vocal teacher, who at the time was this old, this really old guy, okay? He came over and he was like, well, you should never sing that song again. <laughs> And it went well in practice, and he knew I was sick. It's so mean. Yeah, bro, like, what the fuck, man? So, I, talking to my new teacher that I was having, I was telling her this, um, and she's like, oh my god. And she's like, well, I want to tackle that song with you because I think you can kill it. <laughs> so, she's like, I think after, after we work on it, we're going to be able to, you're going to be able to kill it. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> But she's like, maybe not today, because you, that seems like it probably has an emotional aspect on you. So maybe, maybe, maybe we wait until you've slept well, you know? You theater kids are savage. That was not a theater kid who said that to me, man. But yeah, so my new teacher, very based, love, love her, um, love her because she just immediately tells me what I'm doing wrong, which is crazy. <laughs> Glad to not be the only one. Yeah, I'm sure everyone has a, a lot of experiences with people who probably were not such great teachers, which sucks. I mean, I, I wish we could all, uh, uh, granted, I had, I had a different, so the, the reason this was such a big, like, L for me specifically was every single year previous to this, no joke, I was a soloist in some way <laughs> for these concerts. Um, and uh, I'm not to, not to toot my own horn, but like for every single year that I was in choir, I was basically one of the main soloists that at one point the teacher said, you, I can't give you this solo because I feel like you've had too many and I need to give other people a chance <laughs> because you know, I liked, I like to take opportunities. So I'd try for everything. I'd always go for the solos, you know? Um, so it, it was, it was really annoying to me because I always give up my best, you know, I, I always give up my best, which I think is one of the reasons I sometimes succeed. Not all the time. No one's perfect. But, um, <sighs> it, it was like, it was like the year before that I, I had a, I actually got to perform a song with my sister. Uh, we, we did a duet together. And then the next, uh, I think that year also I, I had a solo uh, a, a different solo. So like I had like two and then the year after that, I don't remember what it was, but I do know that I had something. And then that year was the year that I, I fucked it up and there wasn't many actual solos for like the big choir songs for that concert specifically. So I was just a regular chorus girl. Your sister also sings. Yeah. Ane Risa, the pink one is also a sound demon. Sound demon. Ane Risa, also known as Aradia. We sing together. 
But we're both alto. That's not bad. I mean, if you're the same vocal range, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, um, so then my senior year, I redeemed myself. And then I was able to be better and get another big solo senior year demon school. But yeah, it was rough. It was rough that year before. <laughs> Is One Risa a sound demon? She's not a demon. Uh, she is redeemed and she's a priestess of light. She is not a demon and she sings, but not not in that way, you know? She's not a sound demon. Mm. I don't want to give any spoilers, but if you guys listen really closely to one of my upcoming covers that'll come out eventually, you will hear her voice. You will hear her voice um, if you listen close. <laughs> I, I don't want to give too much information, but uh, I made Anerisa. I didn't want to do a harmony for something and because it was too low and I couldn't sing it. So I was like, oh, hello, Anerisa. Can you please learn this and do it for me? And she was like, um, sure, I guess. <laughs> I don't think she's interested, but she did it, so... Yeah, it was nice. Very nice of her. On a Risa debut! Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, my, my alto sister. Free labor, exactly. I'm like, can you just do this for me? I'll take you out to dinner. <laughs> None of your siblings want to do stuff for you. No, they don't. They hate me. She really was like, uh, I mean, no, she. I, I'm making it sound worse. She was very nice about it. She's like, uh, okay, when do you need it? Bye. And I was like, bye then. And she's like, okay. We, me and my sister, Aneris, are very close. Can we take her to dinner? No, she's married. Stay away from my sister. She has a happy husband. <laughs> she is, she's happy with her husband, rather. <laughs> you can do it on your own. You'll be fine, your siblings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, stay with Aneris when? I don't know, but I need to let her, I need to, I need to bring her on. Because I love her. She's my sister. Can we take you out for dinner? Yes. I will always go down to dinner. I'm always down to go out to dinner. I'm always down to eat. If you want to know if I'm interested in eating food, the answer is yes. If you want to feed me, I will say yes. <laughs> Culver's date? Yes. KBBQ date? Yes. Sushi date? Hell yes. Take me out to eat. I am so hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. Feed me. Feed me. Jailbirds, please. I'm starving. Do you want me to starve to death? You can't. You can't let me. You'll be so sad. But you wanted to be healthy. I mean... K barbecue is good for you, right? There's lots of vegetables and fermented stuff on the table, and it's just meat. So as long as you're not, like, eating, like, rice or too much, like, fat, it's good for you. Sushi, too. As long as you're eating, like, not, like, big rolls that are just focused on the roll, but just, like, mostly fish, it's good for you. <laughs> I'm coping? I'm not coping. I'm right, Naruto kid. Thank you very much for the Akasupa. Dinner date fund, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love food, man. Oh, I can hear, I can hear my kitty snoring. Okay, so little lady, because she's fat, she snores so much. She snores so much. <laughs> she snores so much. It is so cute. Because she's fat. <laughs> Troll omnipotence, thank you for the super. It's showing with the head company. Eh? I don't understand. Cats snore? I don't think usually. I think it's partially because she's fat. Is she like Garfield? Yes. Don't ever say that to me ever again, though. She she is a bad kitty. She's a good kitty, but she's also a bad kitty because she is so she likes to steal little man's food. So a lot of the time my sister will lock her or little man with their food in my room and be like, please, I need them to not eat in the same room because she will eat all of her food and then go over and shove little man aside and eat his food. <laughs> 
Yeah, she's quite the glutton. She is very greedy. Does she like lasagna? No. I don't think cats should eat lasagna. By any stretch of the imagination, I doubt that is helpful. Yeah, poor little man. We just gave him lots of treats. But he is a little skinny guy, so I'm kind of worried about him. Try a conveyor belt sushi. I love conveyor belt sushi. I've, I've had it many times before. I think it's delicious. It's my favorite. My favorite. I love it. He likes that food. Yeah. <laughs> no, lasagna. Cats can't eat lasagna. I can eat the lasagna. If you guys want to make lasagna and feed it to someone, feed it to me, not my cats. What's wrong with you? Uh, do you like dogs? Yes, I actually have a story about my dog today. So I feel bad because... So my dog... I've, I've explained this before. The dog is not my dog. The dog is actually my brother's dog. So... Funny story. I actually paid for the dog when we got her. And she's my buddy. I call her my twin. Why? Because we share a birthday. We're reborn years and years and years apart. Yes, but do we still share a birthday on November 21st? Yes, we do. <laughs> so she's my little birthday buddy. What kind of dog is it? I I don't know, but she's like, a, she's very beautiful. She's like completely white fur, like golden retriever mix with like a, what's the, what's the other one? That's like a very similar breed. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful dog. I think she's seven or eight now. So she's kind of getting getting up there in age. But despite that, she's still really energetic. And no, we got her as a puppy. She was... Yeah, Labrador Retriever Mix. Thank you. Um, fluffy or fuzzy? She's got short... Like a short, very lush coat. Um, but yeah, she's cute. She is my baby. Um... But the issue is, as you can probably imagine, because I'm a streamer, um, she doesn't get brought out much because my brother works. My mom doesn't go outside. I don't go outside. My dad doesn't go outside. None of us go outside. So we have this poor, beautiful, energetic dog who just wants to go outside and play with you. And it makes me so sad every time I look at her. Uh, so today, I accidentally said out of context the word walk. I said the word walk and she got up. She looked so sad laying there, but suddenly she heard that. She got up and she wagged her little tail at me and she picked up a ball and she looked at me and she walked over to the door and she came over to me and walked over and she waited until I followed her to the door and sat there and put her little snout up by her <laughs> So I decided I was like, look, I'm not going to walk her, but I know she'll be even. I know she'll be happy if I just bring her outside and sit in the front yard with her and maybe like play fetch with her for a little bit. So um, the reason I would have actually just taken her for a walk, but I couldn't because I had to go help my dad do something. So I like I needed to like drive my dad somewhere. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God. I accidentally said the W word and now I can't, I don't, I literally cannot take the dog on a walk. What am I supposed to? So again, I just took her outside and she was very pleased with that. And she, her tail was wagging. She's walking around, sniffing everything in the yard. Um, and suddenly she starts sniffing. We, we had this like rain gutter thing, right? That like catches stuff. Um, and it like, it like, she just starts sniffing it. And then she flips it up with her snout and bites something and drops it immediately and I realized she just found a fucking mouse and this is outside right and I was just like huh and then I thought I was so scared I was like oh no 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 she's gonna kill it she's uh. she didn't she just looked at it and watched it scurry away and I was like bro why would you do that like I've never heard a like a mouse make like a sound I'm, granted, I don't think I've ever been around a mouse and Bay's a rat, so not the same. Not the same, by the way. Mice. Yeah, like a field a field mouse. Yeah. So, yeah, but she... I, I, she, I heard the mouse, like, make a mouse noise and then just run away. And she just watched it and I was like, Dog, why did you do that? Why did you... <laughs> why did you bother doing that when you were just gonna... It wasn't fast. It was, like, in shock for a second. It, like, laid there for a whole, like, few seconds before scurrying off. And the dog just, like, 
she just looked at it and just watched it. And I was like, girl. <laughs> twin yeah it was ready to die and then i was like oh you're not gonna kill me oh okay <laughs> i'll leave i'll leave then goodbye it was so crazy it was so crazy um yeah and it's that's my dog that's my dog i love her she's my birthday buddy <laughs> Yeah, it was a warning. Stay out of the yard. Well, she's so bad. She has, like, killer senses about that kind of thing. So she'll, like... Even, like, our neighbor's yard. I guess they have an area like that, too, where, like, by their garbage cans. Where mice will, like, accumulate or something. And she'll go over there and do the same thing over there. She'll wait and, like, hunt their mice, but she won't kill them. No, no. She's just there to scare them off. See, here's the thing about my dog. I, I, she's a cold-blooded killer, okay? She she has killed uh, many a creature that she has found in the yard. <laughs> I remember she got a bunny once and brought it back very excitedly uh, to show us how excited she was about her catch, to which we were like, No! <laughs> Honey! No! Yeah, bunny, that was her first- And then, like, one time- Here's- here's the issue, okay? My grandma, she hates the, the squirrels. She cannot stand squirrels in the yard. So she'll trap them and, you, like, humanely, like, release them. Like, do peanut butter trashes. And she did this experiment one year where she'd spray paint their tails to see if they'd come back. So, like, she could figure out, like, how far away she wanted to, like, drop them off. But then, one time, the dog likes to hunt squirrels, and usually she doesn't catch them. Because she's too slow. <laughs> too slow. But she decided to hunt the squirrel in the yard, and she caught it. And, um, that was... I, I think squirrels are cute, so that was a bit much for me, you know? Dogs are crazy. Dogs are so crazy. <laughs> Cats are crazy too, but dogs are so crazy, man. They're like, take me on a walk. I'm going to pee on everything and hunt every single animal I see. And also, I'm going to bark at any other dogs. Also, if there's a fire hydrant, I'm going to sniff it for at least three minutes. <laughs> uh, not Risu. Not Risu. Now, my dogs are chill if lazy. I'm jealous. Well, my mom was convinced when she got her. She was like, she's going to be a lazy lab. Time is going to pass and she's going to be a lazy lab. She's going to be like the kind that like sits onto. Um, she She's going to be the, the, the kind that just sits on the porch all day. Tired. She is fucking energetic as hell. <laughs> A lazy labs do not exist. She's like, oh, well, we'll just need to basically ignore her till she turns six. And then when she's six, she'll automatically be a lazy lab. And I was like, that that's not a thing. But I'm pretty sure they have to live like a full, very energized life where they do lots of stuff before they become lazy. You know, like, what are you talking about? Yeah, the sits by your feet type. I was never rest until six. Exactly. But she 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 was crazy. So that's why the dog has become my brother's dog. Uh, just ignore her. I'm being overdramatic. Not literally just ignore her. But like, my parents don't go out. They don't, they, my parents are not the kind of people who have time for a dog. You know what I mean? Here's, here's how I classify people as pet owners. So if you are a dog person, usually it's because you have lots of time to be outside. You like to go do things. You like to go on walks. You like to go to the park. You like to maybe go for a run. Not not everyone, not everyone, obviously. But the dogs need to be walked. They need to be played with. They take a lot, a lot of energy. And this is one of the reasons I'm not particularly, I love dogs. I'm not a dog person because I can acknowledge that I would not be a good dog owner. I just wouldn't because I don't go outside. I don't have time to go outside and like spend a lot of time making sure that a dog gets really good exercise that they need, right? So that's why I'm a cat person because they don't need, they don't need to do that necessarily. Like you still have to play with them, but it's all stuff you can do 
in your house. And it's even recommended that you don't let dogs outside, right? So cat people and dog people, not all dogs are active like that. I know, but most of them should be. Most dogs should go for walks and I do not leave enough to do that. And Hikiko Mori family, exactly. Cats are low-key apathetic. Sometimes. Yeah, indoor cats should stay in. Outdoor cats should stay inside. All cats should stay inside. I don't agree in the idea of an outside cat. Uh, admittedly, I, I don't think cats should be outside. But that's just my opinion. You should play battle cats instead. Uh, my two Shiva. I, I've met people with Shibas. And those dogs are energetic. So I'm surprised if yours are cat-like. Because... The only Shibas I've ever met are all over the place. But, I mean, dogs and cats are also like people. They all have different personalities. No two are going to be the same anyway. But, yeah. Anyways, point is, I am much better. I am much better suited for cats because of my lifestyle. And, honestly, so is my family. But, yet, we have a dog. And it's my brother's dog. <laughs> so, my brother... Um, because, like, he has, like, a forge and stuff, you know? So he spends a lot of time, especially in the summers, like, outside, like, I don't know, doing, like, boy shit. I don't know what, I don't know what brothers do. I don't know what he does in his free time. <laughs> like, melting metal and stuff. <laughs> forge? He a blacksmith? I mean, kind of. Kind of. He can smith? Yeah, I mean, he's learning. He, he built his own forge. So... <laughs> just guy things, you know? It's That's just like a regular guy thing. Yeah, he'll build me stuff when I ask him to. I'm like, hey, bro, could you please build me, like... I needed, like, a thing for my table to hold my mic at one point. So I g <laughs> I said, I'll give you I'll give you a hundred bucks if you buy the materials and build it for me. And at the time, he's like, a hundred bucks? It sounds amazing. <laughs> so he went ahead and he he built me he built me something that probably would have cost me more money if I had actually paid someone to make it. <laughs> Narissa, we need backstory. The backstory to what? I don't know. He just decided. He just decided that he wanted to build build a forge because he liked that and he wanted to like do things with wood i don't have an answer i'm not him has he ever i don't think he's done chain mail he's mostly been trying to make like i think swords he's not like he's not to the point of being able to like do anything like big big with the forge like for example he couldn't do any like i recreate the legend of zelda's master sword in high detail like he wouldn't be able to do that yet you know but maybe someday. <laughs> Your love of the Smiths. He hates the Smiths, by the way. He hates them. But yeah, so I think uh, he, he just has a forge, but I don't think he like, he builds like, he, he doesn't do stuff like that. He's mostly like learning, playing around with it, you know? <sighs> Why does he hate the Smiths? He, he just, he prefers the version of there is a light that never goes out that uh, has lyrics that are along the lines of doing your mom. And he sends me that and says, this is better than any song the Smiths has ever made. And then I cry. <laughs> I think he's still working with pretty simple metals. Yeah. And he's still making like pretty simple and like small things. Pretty simple. Very, very simple. Why does he like a blacksmith job? Um, no, he does it for fun. <laughs> it's a dream of every man. I kneel. Yes, Daku. <laughs> he, it's, it's a hobby. It's not something he does for work. He just does it for fun. <laughs> what, like that Lonely Island song? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <gasps> uh, yeah, I should let him make me a horn. Maybe that'll work. Oh, little bro, I'll give you 20 bucks if you forge me the rest of my horn back. Do you think he'd do it? Do you think I st could still get away with that? Yeah, it's clearly Daku and uh, my brother are like a match made in heaven. They should rent an apartment together and be best bros. But you have your horn. I don't know where it is. She already knows where my horn is, but she won't tell me. I think, you know, I think I know why. I think it's because Shiori is probably a human. 
And if if I were to find my horn and then sing, she wouldn't be able to listen to me anymore. We'd have to get her like these handy dandy little earmuffs, you know? So I feel like I feel like maybe because she likes the sound of my voice so much, she loves me. So she's like, I can't let Risa regain her horn because then she won't be able to sing for me anymore. <laughs> If you found your horn, you'd be to Don't finish that sentence, Shiodin. <laughs> but yeah, so. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's why. <laughs> you'd be too horny. Yeah, I'd have too much horn. Too much horn. Yawn. Yawn. Oh no, there's more. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Send help. Why am I so sleepy, chat? Jailbirds, please help. Let's take a nap together. Does that sound good to you? Would you like that? Ugh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry, I I just saw Daku is work or, or not Daku, excuse me, Doctor. Why do Why do all the artists have names that start with D? I'm gonna need one of you to change. That's Doctor has drawn a picture already of something that I was talking about on the stream. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to check Daku now after this too. Because he's been he's been sitting here. I feel like I feel like he's in love with my brother now. <laughs> Doctor and both Daku are very speed. They're both really amazing. Sorry, let me just go off about some of these fan artists. The they they're all too powerful. They're too powerful. <laughs> I don't know how they're so fast. And not only are they fast, <laughs> Doctor Daku. They they're fast. They're too quick for me. And then I just like, I end stream and then I go through my tag and there's some like crazy awesome art and I'm like, eh? <laughs> Why are you guys so nice? You just drew about this silly little thing I talked about. I'm so happy. I still can't get over the Roma meme that Daku drew. <laughs> I think about that. <laughs> I think about that too often. So thank you, Daku and Doctor, because apparently you're also here and just chilling. Thank you guys for all the awesome fan art you make for me. I love you for uh, for all the honestly the fan art you make for all of Hello Live. I love looking at your guys' stuff. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But yeah, yeah, awesome. The double D's, the double D's over here. <laughs> Wins. Wins indeed. But yeah. Thank you guys for coming and listening to me talk about. Do you check the lewd ones too? <laughs> Haven't you guys seen like one of my retweets today? Didn't I literally retweet art where I'm literally like naked? Like in bed. But like I'm covered with a blanket. But like you can totally tell I'm naked. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say I, I check the lewd art tag. But you know, I'm, I'm not going to say I don't. You know, I'm. I might. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I'm so say so. I would never look at a lewd art tag. Don't even. Don't even. I'm the most say so member of Hello Live. There's. There's not a horny to be seen, in a Narissa Ravencroft stream. I'm so say so. I've never said a swear word. I'm so. I'm so. I'm. I'm so cute and small. You know. I would never say anything bad ever, and I'm I'm such a good girl, don't you think so, chat? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't I a good girl? Tell me yes. Don't be like this. Ooh, ooh voice. No, ooh, ooh voice is like this. Aren't I a good girl? I'm so say so, and and I'm such a good girl. Please, please believe me, woo. I've never done anything bad in the whole wide world. I'm such a good girl. <laughs> All I do is hit around. And, and eat ice cream all day. I never say swears ever. <laughs> Please, Nerissa Ravencroft is a very good girl. 
Please, you have to, you have to believe me. Please, please, jailbirds, please. Nerissa Ravencroft is very good. <laughs> very say so. <laughs> <laughs> What a liar! <laughs> I'm not lying. I am lying. It's one of those rare situations, but it's very obvious. Give us Narissa back. I'm still here. I never left. Oh, guys, come on. Calm down. You stop hearing my, my, my voice for a few seconds, and suddenly... Suddenly you want me back. I see. Maybe I should talk in a high voice more often. So you guys will be like, we miss Nerissa. We miss her. We miss Nerissa. Please, bring her back to us. This surprises you. No, honestly. I, I feel like I see I see a lot of a lot of stuff that you guys actually send being like, I miss her. And I'm like, I miss you guys too, jailbirds. I'm so weak. <laughs> I, it, it actually, I feel so bad when I take a day off because I miss you guys. And then you guys miss me. And I'm like, why did I take a break? This is so sad. We're both just, we're, we're all just sad and missing each other. What's wrong? What's, what's going on? <laughs> it's, it's the worst. Not an artist, but I am a doctor. Please don't do that again. <laughs> Luisa is such an adorable raven, even if she's the CEO of CAP sometimes. Guys, please stop capping. Stop capping to me. You just cap so hard and I don't know what to do. I want to sing Doja Cat so bad. I want to sing some Doja Cat songs so bad, but I can't. And it makes me so angry. Every day I cry because I can't sing Doja Cat. What am I supposed to do? If I can't sing Doja Cat songs. Please help. Send help. I'm I'm begging. <laughs> Next karaoke. I can't. We we don't have there there we don't have the perm for it. It's not okay. It's not okay to sing any of her songs. <laughs> uh, I ask for perms. It's not something we can just ask for perms for. It's just one of those situations where, like, if it changes over time, then maybe, but... Yeah... Even unarchived? Yeah, there's certain- there's certain things- you probably know, but some things we just can't do, even if it's unarchived. Doesn't matter. It's just the rules, and that's okay, but I just really want to sing Doja Cat! I love her new song- have y'all been listening to Doja Cat? She's so hot. We can all probably agree that Doja Cat is really hot. <laughs> And she released a new album, and I originally, uh, Paint the Town Red is really good, but the one that got me, actually, because the video, okay, we're, we need to talk about Doja for a minute. So she she made a song called uh, Agora Hills, and I'm not going to get into it right now, okay? I'm not going to get into the, what what the song is about, because we don't need to talk about that. But the video, the video looks like it was filmed in the fucking back rooms. <laughs> Which is what gets me. <laughs> Maybe old Doja. Eh? I mean, yeah. A lot of her older stuff is really good. But I just... I really like... I really like... She's so hot. She's so nice to look at, man. <laughs> She's very nice to look at. <laughs> she moves her body so nicely. <laughs> and it looked like it was filmed in the back rooms! Please... You guys gotta understand. She hates her fans, Narissa. No, she doesn't. Look, here's the thing. Y'all don't understand Doja Cat if you think she actually hates her fans. You need to remember, this is the same girl who made this song, Bitch, I'm a Cow. Like, she is not. <laughs> she, she's constantly capping. She's constantly trolling. Like, you remember when she went on that whole tirade about she's like, all my music is shit that I've made, and if you listen to it, you fell for it, and then she dropped an album that was all the same exact type of songs. <laughs> like, she's just trolling. She's a hardcore troll. Very. Very, very. I prefer 2D. Well, good thing I'm for you then. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna tell you who to like. If you don't like her, that's totally fine. You don't have to like her. 
but you also shouldn't be mad at me for liking her music, you know? You, you don't have to agree. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like, you don't have to think she's attractive. You don't have to like her music. That's okay. That's on you. But I also said what I said. Then that's my opinion. Just like you're entitled to yours, I'm entitled to mine. You know? We, we're, we're all entitled to whatever we like. Yeah, you, you, what if I like you? Eh? Me? Me? You like me? You like me? Do you, Jailbirds? Do the rest of you like me too? Do you, do you like me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I have to say, though, my favorite pop artist, if we're talking pop artists, who's your favorite if we're talking American pop? Because mine is without a doubt Ariana Grande. She gets to me every time because she's beautiful. And she's so freaking talented. I don't listen to American pop. That's okay. She... Beyonce's amazing too. Lady Gaga's good. Ugh. We talking female? Yeah, talking female artists. So, yeah. Stop, stop naming Harry Styles and the like. <laughs> Does my, Michael Jackson is amazing, but we're not talking. We're not talking about. We're talking about girls right now. Carly Rae Jepsen. I haven't heard that name since Call Me Maybe. Demi Lovato is a fantastic vocalist. Dua Lipa. I love Dua Lipa. She's so good. But I really. I look. I'll explain why I have a thing for Ariana Grande specifically. Ariana. First off, she just knows what she's doing for one. But the fact that she's broadway trained she's trained for broadway is one of the reasons she's just got such an amazing voice having that background and starting from that because you think like britney spears too britney spears also started from that and if you listen to like old old britney spears too like before she was famous she is oh my god she's the way she's able to use her voice is incredible so, Britney is a legend, uh, but Ariana... Gre Gre <laughs> Stop saying Ariana Grenade. What's wrong with you guys? Uh, uh, but my point is, I like Ariana a lot. Her music is so fun. And it's fun to sing, but it's also challenging to sing. Like, you want to sing it, and she makes it sound effortless. And then you try, and you're like... Ah! 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 <laughs> Uh-huh. When Ariana was on Twitter, she followed my brother. <gasps> I'm jealous. I want Ariana gone. Florence Welch! We don't talk enough about Florence and the machine. You know how, how happy I was. I felt so seen when she did the, the song for Final Fantasy 15. Like the end song. Oh my god. I lost my mind. But my favorite, my favorite song by Florence is... um. Ha Rabbit Heart. Rabbit Heart's really good. Ah, uh, welcome home, Dusty Kathy. Yeah, Florence, Florence and the Machine is so good. Portish Head is Oh, I also really liked on one of her more recent albums. Was it recent now? I don't know. Um, God, she does what's it called? She she had the whole album where she had a lot of songs, and one that appealed to me was hu Hunger. Um, I don't, I, I have to keep, you guys have to keep in mind, I don't know album names, okay? I don't know them because I will just listen to the songs I like. Uh, usually I don't listen to full albums unless they're really good, but I listen to a lot of songs I think that were from that album. And now I can't believe how old it is. When I, when I look back and I look at when it was released, I'm like, this was released two years ago, what do you mean? And then I die. I die. Is it because you're always hungry? No. <laughs> Lace Quake 21, thank you very much for your first super chat. Oh. 
Uh, have you ever had that moment when you are singing a song and you think you're doing it right, but then you rewatch your vid and it sounded different? Gua well, Mastermind, thank you very much for the super. This is interesting. So yes, um, not so much anymore. But when I was first starting to like sing and like record it, I would have this a lot where I'd be like, oh yeah, I killed it. That was amazing. And then like I listen back to it and I'd be like, eh, that sounded nothing like what I thought I sounded like. But one thing that is, um, once, once you get used to it, you can kind of start to know what you actually, like, sound like. Like, obviously, one way you can hear your actual voice is if you, like, take your hands and, like, put them on, like, the side of your head. And, like, so say you have headphones, put it right where, like, your headphone, like, the big, big bulky ones. Put it right before your ears and just, like, cut off, cut off from like the area and you'll be able to actually like hear yourself because you'll cut off the resonance through the, the bones in your facial structure i already know that i hate having a lisp look if you have a lisp here's a secret i had a lisp too i had a really bad lisp i had to go to speech therapy because i had a lisp i'm sorry if you have a lisp but i want to say I believe in you if you're gonna try to get rid of it or if you want to get rid of it you can work on it it is something you can fix i believe in you really yeah really i used to talk like this it was uh pretty bad i had to be in speech therapy for a lot you can actually tell still if i'm trying to uh talk a lot <laughs> and if i'm saying a lot of ethic and secession i can't i can't do it perfectly anymore because obviously i don't have it necessarily but sometimes if i'm doing a lot of s's once at a time um, or like all, all like back to back, you will kind of hear my lisp <laughs> vaguely, vaguely, but I've been trained. Shiny smiley story. She sold seashells by the seashore. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good now because it was a long time ago, but I believe. I believe. Oh, I was in speech therapy for a while. Academics got intense in high school. I had to drop it. It's okay. It's never too late to try again. I believe in you. If you want to fix it, I believe in you. Never give up on yourself. If, if there's something you want to change about yourself, you can. If it's something that you're self-conscious about, I believe. You sound fantastic. Thank you. I work hard. <laughs> I work hard to try and sound nice. <sighs> now, kid. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was in speech therapy because my parents baby talked to me as a kid. Couldn't do sounds. Oh my god. You know? That makes a lot of sense, actually. That makes so much sense. Wow. Wow. Anyway. Uh, wow. Your duet with Mume was so amazing. Thank you. She mentioned it at the end, so I'll bring it up too. But I was so worried I wasn't going to have time to. I actually had to record two different songs. Because the first one we recorded, we ended up not being able to do it. So I had to re-record. So I had to hop back in and try again. And I felt so bad because I was like, oh, I'm sorry to delay. I'm sorry to delay your your thing. I hope I'm not holding it back. So I did it. I did it as fast as I could. So I'm glad. I'm glad if people liked it. I was really happy to sing with Mume Senpai. I love her so much. And her original song was so good. Did you guys all get to listen to Mume? Mume's original song, Mume. Mm. Yes. Yes. She's amazing. I love her. Ever since we had our emo talk, I think we realized we're very similar. <laughs> and then we watched Cats together and then we bonded even more. I love Mume. Her original literally was making me cry. I'm gonna be so real. I'm gonna be so for real with you guys. <sighs> but yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, reminds me of fire, Firefly. Maybe, I, I guess I can see that. Hollow emo collab when we need to get the rest of the emos together. Like Shiori. <laughs> kind of like Porter Roberts. Mmm. Lightbearer, Acolyte. Thank you very much for the pinky. Yeah, we need we need Fauna and Shiori. Shiori is not goth, trust me. 
She only, look, me and Shiori then are both goth. I know, we, we don't seem it because we're so beautiful, but we're both emo. Not goth? No. Why isn't she goth? Because I said so. Look, emo, emo isn't, isn't the same way it used to be. Emo is now just a, an aesthetic, okay? Shiori definitely shops at Hot Topic, and you can't tell me that that is a goth thing to do. That is, that is an emo kid thing. Emo is not a phase. Emo is a lifestyle. <laughs> I love you, Shiori. If you're still here, he 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 he. I'm just teasing. We gotta bring back true emo. You got a point. <sighs> Fauna is also emo. We need to we need to bring emo fauna into the world. It's not a face, mom, please. But 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 I've been having a really good time with you today, Jail Burns. Have you been having a good time with me? I hope so. I want to remind you all that tomorrow at, I believe, 10 a.m. CT, uh, we are going to be having a collab on Reimu Endo's channel, where we are going to be playing Cuphead together. Right? It's tomorrow, right? It's Wednesday today, right? Let me, let me double check. Yes, tomorrow. I've already retweeted the tweet that Reimu made, so... Uh, I hope you will look forward to it. And no promises, but there might be a gorilla stream in the evening if I feel like it. I, I kind of want to play more Suika game. Which arguably is a big mistake. Arguably is a horrible, horrible mistake. Don't don't expect it, but maybe, maybe consider that that might happen. Obviously, I'll tweet about it a few hours before if it's going to happen. But we might be playing Suika game tomorrow. After. Oh, little man wants to leave the room. Yeah, we're going to be making the horrible decision <laughs> to probably play Suika game. So, please, please, please look forward to tomorrow's collaboration with Reimu Endo. And then please also look forward to potentially... Potentially Suika game. No promises. It's not for sure. But there might be a gorilla stream, okay? So, look forward to it. Please look forward to it. I would I would appreciate if you'd look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta try to beat Suise. That's <laughs> not gonna happen. I just I just wanna be a little better in my current ranking. I feel too embarrassed about where I am in the EN sphere. I didn't realize I was so low. You know? Um I didn't realize it. I didn't realize. So I need to fix that. I need to try. I need to try to get a little higher. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, no promises, but potentially, uh, maybe, you know, maybe. We'll see. But regardless, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the night. But I've had a lot of fun. Oh, I'm glad I got to do like an actual like Zansu Zansu stream. And just for those of you who enjoyed this, I want you to know that members, uh, we usually do uh, more Zansus there. I try to do one at least every two weeks. If not like something more. And they're a little more unhinged than even this was. So if you enjoyed this, <laughs> please consider getting a membership. <laughs> and uh, Watching some more cursed zatsus if you enjoyed the cursedness. Um, skip ad. <laughs> wow! But yeah, we have fun. Um, oh! I also need you guys to recommend me Scary Movies members specifically that we can watch as like a members, a members stream. Pretty please. I want us to all watch a horror movie together sometime I think next week or the week after. But, 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 but. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had such a good time chatting with you and catching you up with my day and talking about random things with you guys. I really hope you guys did too. Did you have fun? Please say yes. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> so, um, don't forget to leave a comment with your cook, uh, your cook, um, 
re re resumes if you want to beat my chef and for your little sister resumes as well. I'm looking for a little sister to replace my little brother. <laughs> Thank you guys very much, and for all the VOD watchers, thank you very much for watching to the end. I will look forward to seeing you all tomorrow, but for now, it's time to sleep. So bye-bye, Jailbirds. I'll see you all tomorrow at the Reimu collab. Bye, darlings.